Falcon Stadium, built into Rampart Range, is one of the most picturesque scenes in all of college football and the site for our matchup. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams have sent their special teams onto the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. It's fielded at the 2. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 21. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Decent pickup. It's second and five here. Ball on the 26 yard line. He's taken down around the 34 yard line. So the option play gets some big yards right there. Yeah, you know, it's amazing how sometimes this guy is able to find the hole and get through it. They go to the ground game, and they get him in the backfield for a loss. And that's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established, and for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, that can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 33. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. The blocking wasn't there, and down he went. and they hook up here for a big-time game. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. We've played one quarter. Still no score. That makes it second and eight. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Pretty an option play as you'll ever see. It took all fall practice for the quarterback and the halfback to get their timing down. And they look good now. And he adds the extra point. 
A nine-play, 79-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lines. Air Force is ready to kick it away. He'll take it from the two. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. That's a great tackle at the 39-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's under pressure. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. About nine yards there for the quarterback. South Florida will take their first time out of the half. Around the 48-yard line. It's complete for about four yards and a first down. Yeah, they brought the linebackers here on a blitz, and they vacated some space in the secondary. He had more than enough room to pick up the first down. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. He's going to try and scramble, and they got it. I think the quarterback here, even though he came up with a sack and he's on his back, he's also guilty here of not getting a better pre-snap read. You know, a lot of quarterbacks will get caught up in their size and their arm strength and how they throw the football, but the really good quarterbacks bring the intangibles to the table, and that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection. That time, he didn't do that. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball in the 47. Brought down in the open field. Zips it to the back. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He takes it in at the 14. They'll bring him down at the 20-yard line. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Air Force up seven points. He's hit before it can go anywhere. The Falcons will use their first time out of the half. From their own 33-yard line. First down. Let's go. Fires to the line. First down. Brought down right around midfield. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. He scrambles. And down he goes at the 43. He's on the run, and they got him. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That'll be a gain of three yards. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. Let's see if the quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Throws. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. A great first half comes to a close. Air Force's lead is a touchdown. David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder 
if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to – to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use this strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio with the best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's to the 40, and he's tackled at the 50. That makes it first and 10. From the 50, first down. Caught out in the open. And he shoved out of bounds at the 45-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. And they make the stop at the 23. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Inside the 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the nine. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Looks middle, tight end, touchdown. the tight end. This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he hits the PAT. So a nine-play, 69-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. We're even at seven in this one. And he's tackled at the 29.
A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. They hand it off. And they push him out at the 37. So it's second down and about two yards to go. That makes it second and two. So at the end of the third quarter, we get a tie game at 7-7. Overall tied up now as we head to the all-important fourth quarter. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Just under two to go in the game. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. They'll bring him down from the 46-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. Once again, they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down. Nice run there. You know, Brad, that's the second third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise to be able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. He's scrambling. Loose football. Scoops up the loose ball. And he hits him hard at the 36. Great play by the defender to pick up that ball for the recovery. It was a clutch play as well. Now their team has all the momentum. Here we are late in the fourth quarter. And this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count. And this could be the one right here. Drill at the 49. First down. And a quick throw. About four yards on that play. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. We have less than a minute to go. Lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Ball start. Offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 50-yard line. quickly to the tight end and he's taken down around the 38 yard line the Bulls taking their first time out of the half throws it in a hurry he's tackled around the 34 yard line the screen is good for four it's second and six ball on the 34 yard line Tackles him hard at the 27-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. Just 
Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. And we're back ready now for overtime. Here's the give, and he carries the ball for a nice game. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. That makes it seven to six. From the 21-yard line, second down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's level at the 13-yard line. Number six makes the tackle at the 13-yard line. First down. Out of bounds, around the 10-yard line. From the 10 yard line, it's second down. Fires quickly, touchdown! It's a brand new ball game once you get to overtime, and this was a really big score. These guys have taken charge. Now it's their game to win. And he converts the extra point. Number seven. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25. He's looking for six. And this will be caught. Touchdown. So they come up with the equalizer. This offense did just what they had to do. They knew they needed six points, and they got it. That was just a great series. We'll be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT. Well, it's going to take another round at least. You can bet the coaches are going to look to be more aggressive on both sides of the ball. First and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Caught with room to work. Packer at the 14. on the extra point. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. He might not be able to get the pass off. And they got it. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 27. Got a man, watch out here. He's out of bounds, right around the 24-yard line. Quick 
quick release. Tight end, incomplete. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. So they'll get one last stab at tying this up. Great tackle at the 13. First down. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Right here, right here. Go, 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 go. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Second and 11. Ball on the 14 yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Scoops it up. A great game here today in a tight one. Air Force 21, South Florida 14. 14. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.